What have I done? What have I done? No. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what the heck? Hello everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. And today we are going to be working on an area of outstanding natural beauty. Some of you may be familiar with that term. The Mayor of New Zealand has been lobbied by a group of New Zealandites, if that's what the people are called that live here, and they would love to see this beautiful, beautiful mountain range that runs through the middle of the main island here on New Zealand, marked as an area of outstanding natural beauty. Can you imagine going hiking in this area? There are some amazing things to see, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Now, for those that don't know what an area of outstanding natural beauty is, it's basically an area of countryside in England, Wales and Northern Ireland that has been designated for conservation due to its significant landscape value. So let's take a look at this mountain range in the middle here and see if there is anything that particularly stands out to us as being somewhere that people would like to visit. Now you can imagine if you were living down here, you've been looking up at these mountains for all of your life for all of your life they are so amazingly huge and i think we can get some fantastic walks and views set up on these mountains now if we just move a little bit further around we've got sort of like a mountain you know normal sort of mountain type oh then that's quick also say that normal sort of mountain type setup but then every now and again you've got like these little areas of water that run down here now i think this is one that we could work on here and it stops right there but in my mind that should come down from all the way up the top here we will sort of meander this around and make that something that you would walk up to the top to have a look at if we can somehow turn that into a waterfall that would be great and then if you come over here we've got some amazing rivers they just look so so beautiful i could imagine coming to sit on these rocks over here and just looking down at the view oh, watching the world go by that is just lovely and then round here look at this so if we start from this end the river here comes up underneath the road under the railway line and then as you follow this around i mean it just looks beautiful anyway and then we get here under this rickety old bridge that's not that rickety lovely looking bridge and then look at this look at this here can you imagine going swimming through this let's just sort of sneak up through here Oh, the map maker has done a fantastic job. They never sort of jump up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or you do that the other way around. You'd be one of those adventurous divers. You dive into there and then go swimming through here and come out the other end into this lovely looking pool. And you could come on a picnic. Oh, there's already a few paths and things sort of dotted around here. And now we're around the back of the island. There we go. So we're on the opposite side. And I was thinking, you know, depending on how the time goes, we could get some sort of community starting to build in this area here nice sort of flat area i think that would be nice got lots of road access then we've got the airport down here and of course over here we have the dam that's holding back uh, this water over here now because of the way the game works this was outside the map when it was first built it is making um electricity but i don't think it's counting towards this figure here and i can't touch it at all um i don't think i can use i wonder whether i could reset it with the move it mod let's just actually see if i can do that i mean there's all these different parts here rather than it being one part um let's just see let's select these i think that's it, it just looks like those parts there and hopefully i'm not going to just break the whole thing so there we go I've reset those come out the move it mod yeah it still can't touch it if there's a way of of doing that i mean we can add that in i'll tell you what let's just see let's just see if this makes a difference so producing 1078 if i just hook that uh, into our grid over here we'll use the anarchy mod and just see whether that goes up at all no so it doesn't actually look like it's working because these would be on these would be blue if it was working if there's Oh, it's gonna be one nah. but yeah we can sort of build something in here as well we've got this road access so what do you think now i know that we named this area and you know me being me it was so long ago that we named this area that i just cannot remember what it was called 
Actually, do you know what I'm thinking of doing? Mm, do I want to make this one big park? Or do we have it split up? It's such a big area. What we could do is put a district over it with whatever the name was. I've got a sneaky feeling it was something to do with Tetley. And we'll call it like the Tetley T Hills. Or if you can let me know in the comments below what it was that we named this area. That would be great. Well, this must be the biggest district I've ever drawn. Just so we can get this name onto this area here. There we go. Popular Hills it is at the moment. We will rename that Area of Outstanding. Now, hang on. I can't remember what the blimmin' name is now. I've been talking about it for, <laughs> for the episode. Area of Outstanding. That's what it is because the O of of isn't counted. Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty to be confirmed. So you let me know what the name is on that. Uh, policies. We do not need this, this. I don't want any policies on here. Let's take all of those off. City planning. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And that one there. And that one there. And I think, yep, yeah, that's fine. There we go. So let me know the name. Oh, we still got... Did I... Oh, I know what that is. Yep, yeah, we can't change that. And we can't change that. That's from the stadiums. Okay. And then what I was thinking we'll do is we'll add little parks in. So for instance, like... Let me turn that off there and do that again. There we go. So, for instance, this would be one park that you might come to, park up, enjoy the pool. You know, might be some shops and things down there. Um, we then perhaps have this as its own little park area down here. That could perhaps take in the river as well. Something like that. We've got this one here. And again, I think we're taking most of the river. And which was the one that we were going to bring all the way up to the top? Here it is, this one here. So in fact, I would have all of this as one. And that's going to come all the way up to the top like that. Whoops, let's do that again. Zoop. Oh, hang on, we've ended up with like 14 parks, have we? No, it's all the same park. There we go, that's fine. Like that. And then we could even have like a big long trail that sort of comes down the middle... You know, has got a big walk over the top that takes in sort of these places. This would be the one that you do if you love walks. So I was thinking something a bit like that. Rather than one big massive park. I think that would maybe do better. Then we could sort of treat all these little areas as individual little parks. Yeah, I think that would work quite well. So I think we're going to start on this park here. So as well as the name for the hills... I'm sure it was technically something. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, I want little names for these parks. So we've got this little... we have got the dam here. We've got this little pondy sort of area, which I think looks really, really nice. Plus, this one's got road access as well. And we're right by the airport. So, you know, it's going to be... You've got planes going overhead. You might get a little bit of noise, but they, they tend to sort of go in the other direction, which is good. Although he's going to turn around and fly right over the top. No, he's not. He's going the other way. He's going higher and higher. Which way is he going? He doesn't know where he's going. It's that way. Come on, you can do it. Is he off? It, uh, but by the time he gets overhead, he's so high up in the air, you can still enjoy this lovely little area. So let's see what we can do here. Now I'm thinking when you first turn up, uh, you're going to follow this road here, which sort of loops back round there through the mountain. And you're going to get to the end and you're going to want somewhere to park. So I'm just thinking a few little parking spots or something over here would be good. Uh, let's just grab the picker picker mod and pick that road. And just see what we can do. Let us, as we do, meander something through here. Hopefully I'm not destroying anything. No, we're okay. And then we need to get some sort of car park in here, which means... Maybe just flat. What I'm going to try and do is not flatten things out as much as possible. I want to sort of keep it with the terrain as I'm flattening the road. <laughs> what I mean is I'm not going to like go in with um, landscaping and take out swathes of the rocks just to do things. But somewhere like this, we do need um, some parking. So what I'm going to do is just remove some of these little trees and bushes here. And we are going to just flatten a little area here. Let's give it that. Brush size, strength down a bit. It's a bit smaller. There we go. And we're just going to push these rocks. You can imagine they would come in here perhaps. Dig out just a little area that's just enough. 
to get some parking and maybe just along the side here and then after this it's going to be walking paths you're just going to walk to where you want to go so let's grab that road there i want that to go across but i don't want to oh there we go that's fine i can go around like that so we can maneuver that there we go that's going to be the end that's it excellent so let's have a look for some parking um something small something not too complicated what's that one look like something like that that just looks perfect we can add these sort of around here as well and then at the end here i would like some sort of you know i'm thinking in the uk we have something called the national trust so you can pay a yearly fee to the national trust oh, this just looks beautiful this map doesn't it i love it and you would come to an area like this and you would just show your membership card and say, yep, yeah, you know, I'll pay my yearly fee. They would let you in and that would be fine. For those that didn't, uh, you would have to pay a small price to get in. And I'm just thinking if we could add something on here that looks like that. So looking in our, hmm, let's see, let's see. Yeah, what I'm looking for is just a very, very small building. And I think this hunting cabin would be perfect i was going to pop some trees around it as well so it's normally just you know somebody working in there you might be able to buy a packet of crisps a few little drinks things like that before you head out so we're going to have that there and then we're also going to just pop in some restrooms so just before you go off for your walk there we go you would nip into the restroom and then you would be ready to head off into the hills i'm thinking rather than just sticking to this we're going to have some of the walk go up into this area as well now something i've just realized of course with the big park areas over here to add in the park entrances and exits we do need access to a road don't we so that is going to be interesting how we're going to get that working somewhere like this will be okay because we're going to add it right onto the edge oh water can we get some water up here for our lovely people let's just quickly do that There we go. That should be plenty of water for these lovely people. We'll work out about the electricity in a moment. Uh, so let us pop in a park entrance. Um, and again, I want to sort of go for something that really fits where we are. I mean, the nature reserve stuff is really the best sort of stuff. And I just want a really small nature reserve side gate in here. Because that's so big, that's so big. Yeah, it's going to be the small one. Let's just drag this road out a actually no we're not going to do that let's undo that we're going to use the touch it mod and we're just going to grab a teeny piece of road and just add that there there we go and then we can get our entrance on the side here so let's go back to that oh area must have a main gate oh that's the side gate isn't it that's the one um, are we going to destroy anything no it's fine it's all built into there that's good in fact that we just shiftify that over so there we go you pay over here then you go through maybe show your ticket or something there excellent right so let's do some work with our paths now one of the things let's just turn that off again this is the toggle it mod up here by the way i've got one of these keys f over here to turn off i'll move that over for you there we go the automatic info views which pop up which is that white screen so it just makes it easy to see what we're doing now i'm not sure whether these paths here will self level or not let us just sort of run they do excellent so something like this we could sort of there we go look it just levels out a piece of land either side and here i would like to go around uh, this piece of land so let's actually go up to there okay and then we'll go up there we go look at that uh, can i go page down down that's up <laughs> press the other button biffer okay that's as low as it's going to go I'm going to have that come around to there and then go back to down again. Yep. So this is going to meander all the way along the front of the river. And we can always add in some extra paths in a moment. Yeah, so let's just continue this all the way around. Just thinking how far round do we want to go? Do we want to make it a circuit or just a walk there and back? 
I think once we get round here, this is getting a bit tricky, isn't it? Although I think we could just maybe branch off. This one's going to go up here somewhere. So we'll just pop that up there. And then we'll just have this one. Maybe just branch off a little bit down here. And I'm thinking we could have some... Have some fishing or something right at the end. Something maybe nice and quiet. Yeah, we'll go there. Excellent. So how big did we make this... Yeah, so we've got this one going up quite high up here. I'm thinking we need to add somewhere, you know, for those of you that are avid walkers, you wouldn't just want to walk there and back, would you? That would be like my that would be like me. I'd be happy to walk around the end here. Avid walkers like my wife, she'd be like, nope, come on, we're gonna head up here. And then we would walk up here. Although to be honest, looking at this, it's not too difficult, is it? It's not that steep. <laughs> come on, come on, let's give it a go. Let's pop this path up here and see what it ends up looking like. Yeah, now we're getting now we're getting a bit steep. So where would we go here? Now what is possibly going to happen is as I start putting a path like if I put a path up there actually it doesn't self level as much does it when you go up over the rocks? I don't want to mess up what we've got here. I feel like maybe it would split off over here a bit as well. Yeah, that's not too bad. So it's winding up there. We're suddenly getting a bit steep here. So I think we might just need to work on that. Yeah, now we're really digging into the land, aren't we? Let's, let's just see if we can get this working. And then what I could do then with a path like this, although I've got to be careful because as far as I know, there's not an undo feature <laughs> on this um, set slope. Oh, we just have an auto save, quit sip of tea. So if it really messes it up, I'll just do another quick auto save. I'm going to try it and see what it does. Although to be honest, it isn't that bad, is it? Let's see what happens. So I'm going to add... Here we go. Let's do that again. We're going to go to this one here. So we're going to grab that one there. And I'm going to go all the way down to here. So I hold shift. Uh, no, I don't hold shift, do I? Just select all of those. Press enter. All right. Okay. It's. Let's have a look. So it's really dug into there. It's left that one quite flat. Do you know what? That is not bad, actually. I think I'm going to leave that like that. That actually looks a little bit more realistic, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, I like that. And then this one up here, I want to get it up. I want to get it up to like a lookout tower at the top. If you were coming to this park, let's pop a destination for getting up here. We are going to have, so there's a lookout tower number two. I think this is the largest. If we have a quick look, yeah, yeah, this one here. So we're going to have a path which is going to come along here. And then we can have lookout tower number two. Here we must have main gate. Ah, yeah. Okay, let's adjust our... Here we go. That's fine. Zoop. We'll take that in. Nope, that wasn't it, was it? Where was it? Here. Yeah, this is the one. Zoop. We'll have that. Thank you. Thank you. And then we'll grab this and we'll pop that right at the top. I mean, there's another top over there, but, you know, we've got other parks around here. So this peak, each of the peaks would have its own name, wouldn't it? I'm thinking this is almost you've got a little extra hill you can climb, but this would give you look at that for a view of New Zealand. I am thinking I want to just move it a bit higher. I want it along this ridge. I want it here. Yeah, okay. Slight change of plan. We're gonna delete that. And we're gonna have this go up to there. And then we're gonna move that over here. And then we're going to remove some of these trees so you can get a good view. There we go. Yep, we're going to remove some of these trees. We'll have some low bushes and things. So you can look out, see the airport. Watch what's going on. You can look at the other mountains over there. And a fantastic view of New Zealand. Oh, I'm loving that. Right, now we've got to get this path connected. I'm thinking if this one... This one here could, like, wiggle and join there. And then this one here could switch back and join there then we've got a cool extra route so you can take this route here route one 
or you could take this route too. And if uh, do you know what, there's walking tours in this game as well. If we get this set up as a fantastic place to be we could get like walking tours and things in here couldn't we okay so we're gonna see if we can just sort of switch back this around here and see how the game treats it Okay, yeah, let's go up here. Just slowed the camera down a bit. Follow this around here. I mean, this is a bit steep. You've got to have some steep bits, haven't you? That's not too bad. Come around this way. Swing it around the corner. Up to the top. I mean, the views you'd be getting while you're doing this would just be stunning, wouldn't they? And then up to the top. And then, yeah, I love it. I love it. I'll tell you what I might do is just use the tool just to smooth this bit out. Um, so from here to, let's untick that one. Let's do it again. From there to there. Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. And then I'm going to do this switchback thing from there to there. Oh, oh, what's it done there? Oh, actually, yeah, that's not too bad. That's okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then we've just basically got to get this one to connect up to that one. Um, so let's see how we go here. Okay, that one definitely cut into the mountain a bit. Um, do you know what I'm thinking for this one? Yeah, I'm going to delete that. Let's take all of that out. And unfortunately, the mountain will come back again. I am going to do something different with this one. Ah, there we go. That's what I want. I want some nice big pillars. And we can sort of have this hugging the mountain side like that. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to adjust this a bit. But where could it go? Sort of up here. Up there. Yeah, something like that. Something for the adventurous. And then we could come back down here again. And then connect those two up. Hmm. I've, I've definitely got this idea in my head. But we'll we'll work on how it looks. There we go. That can connect to there. But yeah, that'd be... So you go this way. It's hard. Hard work. A long way. This way's a little bit shorter. But then you've got to walk on this thing. Yeah, I mean, this is like a... This is like a crampon climb. Look how high <laughs> this thing goes. It's like a roller coaster. That just ain't going to work, is it? Okay, so what I'm thinking here is if we use this tool again, uh, if we start from here and just go all the way down to there, what will that do? Okay, so it's sort of smoothed out, but then you've still got this like weird lip thing. So what we could use there is node controller. If we grab that node, see immediately it makes a change. Uh, I'm going to delete that, put it closer together. No, okay. But if you make it sloped, anyway. And then on each of these nodes, uh, that's a middle section. There's a node. We'll make that sloped. Uh, there's a node. We'll make that sloped. Immediately it looks so much better, doesn't it? Make that sloped. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I've messed this one up, haven't I? Um... Yeah, do you know what we're going to do? We'll delete that section there. Oh, I see. That's why it's all facing in a weird way. Hold on. Okay, let's check this out then. I mean, this is pretty steep. I'm thinking we need a couple of switchbacks on this, definitely. This isn't too bad. Let's have a look. And then suddenly this bit here... It's this bit. Yeah, this little section here. Hmm. Let me have a little think. Hmm. 
Okay, let's let's go with that, and then let's try the tool again. There we go. So we'll grab that one there and go all the way down to that one there. And do enter and see what that looks like. I mean, we've got some massive, massive... Oh, we've got the weather on. <laughs> I haven't had that for a while. Massive towers there. But do you know what, actually? I don't think that's too bad. And I think if we actually use the Move It mod and do our selection... I'll tell you why the weather's on. Let's just turn that off. There we go. That's from messing around with a snow map. Uh huh. yes. I mentioned doing a new vanilla series. Let's just set that to nodes. That would be... Let's try that again. Double click nodes. That would be in between uh, my New Zealand. So you wouldn't lose any episodes of New Zealand. But yeah, I've been looking at a... Looking at a snow map which I found that's really nice. So we'll see about that. We'll see about that. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to spend a minute or two finagling with this. And then once it's done, um, I'll show you what it looks like. So back in a sec. Okay, the path is done. A little bit steep in a couple of places, but I think that actually works really, really well. And then we get all the way around up to the top. And I've just moved the lookout tower a little bit further forward. There we go. So you get a good view of the city. So I'm very pleased with that. Um, so maybe let's have a little bit of detailing in. Let's just swoop down here, back to over here. So right back at the beginning again. Um, I've just added in. I've just asked the guys and girls on my Discord if there is a way to unlock this dam and not have to rebuild it. Uh, see what they're going to say. And I've just added in the earthquake sensor, as we like to use, because that's going to jump the electricity over to these items and i think you know you would have some sort of i always think that looks like an electrical substation or something like that so i think that looks just fine so over here you've parked your car um let's maybe put a little bit of detail around here i feel like i want to move that one to have it sort of more straighter on there let's just ever so slightly uh, flatten out this bit just a squidge just a touch and i don't mind that one being at a funny angle like that in fact i'm just wondering if i turn that one around and lined it up would it still count as being connected to the road it would and then what i could do do you know what i'm going to just straighten this out yep. there you go look so you can get in i think that looks yeah that looks fine okay let's add some detail here Okay, so here we go. We've got the parking set out. I've got some fence in here just to keep all of this separated. You're not allowed to get into the park until you've paid. And then after you've paid, maybe bought a few little snacks or on the way back, if you really want to want a rest, you can sit here on the tables and chairs and enjoy the view of what you've just walked up. Look at that. Or you could, uh, yeah, gather your energy before you head out. So what else can we add around here? Right, I've just had the suggestion as well to use the Move It mod to delete this and then use the undo button to put it back again, and I still can't select it. So I think I might just have to bite the bullet and build a new one. Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? Which is rather annoying, but there we go. Um, so actually, I think these roads here are actually... Yeah, I'm not even sure this is a proper full working dam, you know. I think it's just parts that have been added in. Yeah, okay, let's see what we can do. I mean, that's the shape that it's giving me, like that. So maybe we'll go like that one. Estimated production, it's going to sort of, it's not quite in the right place, is it? Um, 
but we might be able to just monkey with that a bit. Do you know what? I'm just going to place it there. Let's just place it there. And then we've got a lot of land that's in the way as well. But let's see how that works. And surprise, surprise, we've started a flood heading down the river here. I'm not sure that's going to cause too many issues. Uh, yeah, if you're on a plane, maybe <laughs> watch out, get some napkins ready. Okay, so we can select this one. It is actually got a power output, and I think it's probably going to work a lot better if we remove this land around here as well. So let's give that a go. Okay, well, we definitely have some leakage going on here, uh, which isn't great. I'm just wondering whether I could change the water sources here. So this one's okay. It's running through. We're getting like 160 megawatts, which is absolutely brilliant. So there we go. So we're making more power than we're ever going to need. It's taken out some of the highway down there. I think we just need to maybe move some things around down here. To see if we can stop this leaking out so much. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I can't see what the heck's going on. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, I just wanted to stop it running out over the banks here. There we go. And then we can work on getting this at the right height. Yeah, still 96 megawatts. That's fine. And, oh dear. Oh, oh, look. Here come the sucky trucks to suck all this stuff up. Oh, we've caused a bit of an issue. Oh, dear. Yeah, the sucky trucks are out in force. Yikes. Oh my goodness me. And it's like funneled all into the highway. And it's still overflowing the banks down here, which is really weird. This is not... I don't know why so much. I'm wondering whether we even need this water source in here now this is coming through. Because before it wasn't coming through, was it? Let's just delete that. Because there was land all in the way. Oh man. Oh no. We've hit the airport. It's flooded over the highway. And it's now... Oh, get away. Get on your holidays before it's too late. And now it's reached... Oh, my goodness. What started out being an area of outstanding natural beauty is now turning into the disaster of New Zealand. What is the year? 2146. Oh, yikes. Are these people... This looks a bit damp here. It might have just been raining. Are these people going to get hit by the floods? Eek! They're trying to escape. Look, they're trying to get out. But the floods are stopping them from leaving. <laughs> They've got other roads they can take. Take the roads that aren't flooded. Oh, dear. Yep, it is hitting the... Run for your life. Look at that special submersible beetle car. Oh, he's on his motorbike. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> this, this old guy. Hey, it's him. It's Hugo. Where? He's back again. He remembers him from the live stream. Look, he's rolled up his shorts. Oh, the water's stopping. The water's subsiding. Have we managed to fix it? Let's... Yikes. Yeah, I know we haven't. <laughs> what the heck? Why did I start down this road? What are we getting now? 80. Uh, okay. All right. We're going to get this fixed. We are going to get this fixed. Okay, now we have a substantial actual working dam down here. I'm just widening the river and deepening the river as well. There we go. Until it gets out here. Don't start flowing backwards up the flipping river like a bonehead, thank you. The water's coming down. There we go. So it's a lot deeper. Hopefully... Oh, my goodness me. It just, turned, it just started off as such a simple thing. How can I just... Uh, sort this road here and it's turned into a flipping disaster okay i just want to get this lined up a bit better there we go good gravy oh i think oh i thought i'd found the depth then that was needed to stop the water running around the corner it almost did this is just unbelievable i should have just left it why why 
Well, I did actually make a save before I did this. I might go back. <laughs> Just use that. This is like the higher I build the sides and the deeper I make the bottom of the trench. It's just not flipping. Look! <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> it's going on. Well, the, the area of outstanding natural beauty is now bigger than it was before. I mean, I think I know what is going on. Um, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Needs just put in my Discord. There are two universal rules to life. One, you were born, and two, never mess with city skylines, bodies of water. I think that's it. I'll tell you what it is. It's the height here is being dictated by the height of this here. You can see it's counting. I mean, it's going to sort of affect every single body of water. It's the way it sort of highlights it. But I think that one is affecting this one particularly. Look, there we go. I think we've got... I've just lowered this down ever so slightly. And I think it's lowered it enough here that it's not now coming out and bothering the rest of the land. Although it is a problem when we get down here. I'll just leave it for a few minutes. We'll see if this dries out. Hopefully it will. Oh, and then we can be back to terraforming and letting all the traffic go. Okay, yeah, I think we've uh, managed to solve it. Although there's now a huge backlog of trains and traffic. And what are we at? <laughs> what have I done? 74%. As all this sorts itself out, I'll leave that. So what's the damage over here? Uh, we end up with a little wiggly road going in. The water's dropped down a little bit, but it still looks fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And we've just ended up with huge... Look, you can see now it's dropped all the way down to here. And it's not running through anymore. <laughs> okay, I think I found the correct level of the water to actually get some power out of this darn thing and for it not to flood. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to do some serious... Um... Where are you going? Are you just like holding up everybody because there's a speck of water? on the you are look let's you be gone you be gone you can move along now look that train just gave up because he was slightly damp uh these guys are still out in force sucking up all the water so that's fine yeah we're gonna need some serious terraforming around here aren't we but at least this is working and we're getting you know a decent amount of power through it i don't care for getting millions of power yeah there we go excellent so we could even drop our budget down a bit if we wanted cool Okay, I've made a few changes around here, done a little bit of detailing. I've run a bus line up here as well. I'd imagine there's probably nobody in this bus at the moment. <laughs> but how about a little time lapse to take a look at some of the detailing I've set up.
so there we go we've made it right to the top and we have this fantastic view of new zealand so let's enjoy the sun setting thank you very much for your support uh, maybe subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel leave a like if you enjoyed it as well and i will see you all very soon have a great day take care bye bye